Hello and welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor and today we will be reacting to the rest of the Little Mermaid 2023 live action soundtrack. But before we hop into the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you like all things music. As of me filming this, it is not the release date for The Little Mermaid, but it should be going up on the day that it releases, so hopefully y'all can leave your comments down below on what you think of the soundtrack and the movie. I will be going to see it this weekend, but I know y'all loved my Part of Your World reaction. It's my most viewed video so far and I can't wait to see what the rest of the soundtrack brings us because everyone's been telling me that it's absolute perfection and I always love knowing the soundtrack and music before going into a film. I will say since we have not seen the film yet I don't know if some of these may be out of context. I know they've added a song or two in here so I won't be re reacting to part of your world again. Probably will only react to the reprise here which is still just as long so but I'll link to the Part of Your World video reaction up there. Um, and I will not be reacting to any of the, like, accompaniments? Instrumentals. No, anything that's just an instrumental will not be reacting to. So yeah, I don't know how many songs that is. As always, with reaction videos, things will probably, probably be sped up. up just for copyright reasons. And obviously we know Disney loves to slap a good copyright left, right, and center. But without further ado, let's hop into the first song, which looks like it's going to be Fathoms Below. I don't know how much reacting there will be to most of these songs since I should know most of them by heart, but uh, I'll, there should be a lot of clips of me just singing along. Well, that was just a good old sea shanty. Um, up next, Part of Your World Reprise. I've heard everyone say the reprise is just as good as the OG. And the reprise is over two and a half minutes long, so it, I'm expecting great things. The, the emotion, the emotion so far is now, I know I said in my original reaction, I was like, I kind of missed the the break in the voice that she did, that the OG jo the OG Jodie Benson had in the original cast recording for Part of Your Old, but maybe I'm just thinking of the reprise and not the original. So. Well, I'll take back everything I said from the original part of your world reaction. The emotion was apparently on this song, this the reprise. The emotion, all there. Amazing, beautiful. And Hallie really said, I'm going to give you a note. She held that last world out so long, so great. But up next, we have another fave, an OG, because we all love Sebastian the Crab. I know there's discourse on him being a crab versus a lobster. Whatever, but we've got David Diggs first song and we know he can sing. Like, we know it's gonna be a good song. Okay, okay, listen to me. The human world is a mess. Life under the sea is better than anything they got going on up there. This seaweed is always greener. It's home by the S is big. You dream about going up there, but that is a big mistake. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say, I don't know how much I'm gonna verbalize in this song because this is just a song that I will be dancing probably awkwardly to um because you know set up slash I am me um beautiful vocals amazing this is Sebastian W Diggs was perfect casting vocally um and I can't wait to see what he does in the movie I will say Alan Meekin, because I'm pretty sure he came back for this because I'm seeing him on the track. He really said, let me just give you some crisper instrumentals for this live action. Which granted, I'm sure sound engineering has gone much further <laughs> since the 90s. Actually, no, this released in 1989. 
So the start of the Disney Renaissance. But yeah, the instrumentals are on point. Also, also, did we all miss as children how much Sebastian really talks about being eaten? Like him and his fellow fishy friends just like murder and f becoming food. Like if you really pay attention to the lyrics, there's there's some dark stuff making its way in there. Did Ariel have vocals on the original Under the Sea? I don't know. I still love it though. I mean, give Ariel all of the vocals if you must. Well, no. We want to hear everyone else. But also, Hallie needs needs some moments to shine. When I was under the sea, um, love the inclusion of Ariel's vocals. Um, the V Diggs vocals, great. The bridge, he just hit every single beat on that bridge. Obviously, up next we have a short one. I'm pretty sure Jonah is playing Prince Eric, right? Was this song in the original movie? I'm waiting till like closer to the release date of me watching it to rewatch The Little Mermaid, but I don't remember Eric's song. To be honest, Prince Eric was never like my favorite friends, so. But he sounds good. Now, they did say put Hallie's voice on everything, even if she is in the background. I don't know, I kind of want to build. Like, give me, like, the part of your world build in this. stop before we get to the end there because I did say I wanted a build and we got some vocals we got a build this man is in torment <laughs> like his vocals like like we in Beauty and the Beast Evermore now that that was torment but like that was like that was like dark like I've already been through some things this is I am going through it right now sort of like vocals like I can feel the break and the ache in the voice and I'm loving it we'll go off Prince Eric we love it Unfortunately, you're coming before the song that I was most excited to hear because I am a villain's girly first and foremost. Even though I have no villain Funko Pops on my shelf, which, by the way, I got, I got updated Ariel. Although the, um, the the kiss the girl dress does not translate very pretty on the Funko Pop, but I have my updated Ariel next to the OG Ariel. So yeah, up next, poor unfortunate. Souls. Melissa McCarthy, do not fail me because I love this song. I admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They won't hit anyone they call me well, a witch. But you'll find me nowadays. They've mended all my ways. Repentance in the light and let's switch. Before we get into the bridge, did they jazzify this and I was unaware of it? Sounds great. But it feels like, compared to the original and compared to some of the covers, I feel like this is more, I don't know, more jazzy, more slow, more like a, like she's a smoking something under the sea. So, not like mad at it, but since it is over four and a half minutes long, I guess I can see that they did stretch some things out. So. Okay, I can hear the acting in the voice. Like, I have not watched any of the other clips from the from the movie. I know that they've kind of already released the Poor Unfortunate Souls clip. But just from the vocals that we hear on this recording, like, I can hear the acting. That's also probably why it's a little bit slower, because she's really adding the emphasis in the vocal effects and, like, 
intonation and stuff like that. So you can hear the acting in the voice, which I love to hear. I will say, I don't know how to say this. I think I like Born Fiction and Souls when it's a little quicker, a little bit more of a rap. Maybe I'm just used to the China and McLean version from Descendants. I love how Ursula's like, three days, fall in love. That is your timeline. Well, this post dialogue portion, now that's picked up. Take back what I said from the original. I'm loving the build. That is what I was searching for, words wise. But yeah, now this, now this part, this is the part we love. I'm just going to say that portion where Ariel just does the Oz, I could listen to that on repeat for who knows how long. That is living rent free in my head many a day. I was trying to think if I've ever ridden the Little Mermaid ride over at Disney World. I mean, I did work there for a little bit, but I don't know if I've ever ridden it. But we've reached the new song. The first, well, I don't know if it's the first new song. Was that Eric's song new? I don't know. Someone will tell me. I'm sure I'll find out when I look it up after this. But the additional song that we got for Hallie, for Ariel, for the first time, obviously everything in my head is going to Frozen for the first time in forever. Probably going to sound completely different. But I'm just going to say, it sounds like to me this is going to be the song that's going to be playing when she exits the water with her feet for the first time. <laughs> and it's over four minutes long, so I'm quite excited to hear what we're getting. Well... I don't know that I've heard Hallie on a, a non-ballad song for this town track yet. So let's let's dance, I'm hoping. Okay, just gonna say, I'm getting like Under the Sea meets Belle? From Beauty and the Beast. That's the vibes I'm getting, but also Frozen. I love how this song is referencing to her iconic song, Part of Your World, saying, what is a fire and what is it? What's the word burn? And then she talks like, oh, I'm seeing a fire for the first time. Oh, it does bite, it does burn. So I love that that's, that's the callback. Again, with the eating of themselves, like the eating of the fish, eating of the the fishy people. Disney really said, eat them. I have to stop it there, because something just occurred to me. Is this a song that comes after she makes the deal? Because if so, what is she singing? Because she loses her voice. Well, that was a sad note to end on. But at least she's recognizing some things. But up next, we have the iconic number that is Kiss the Girl. There, you see her sitting there across your way. She don't got a lot to say, but there's something about her. Ooh, those vocals are smooth. They're, they're smooth. To be honest, I think Eric is just our shy sad boy. I mean, we heard while in Charted Waters that boy is apparently going through many a thing right now. But so far, the chorus, the chorus. Again, this one feels like a little bit slowed down compared to the original, but this one I... This one I think I like more than the original. Well... I'm just gonna say, David Diggs on this song has that kind of voice where you feel like you would trust him and his uh, his relationship advice. And that's just how my brain works. The lyrics were smooth. That's that. All we have left for songs with vocals on it are the scuttlebutt and uh, the part of your world reprise number two. So not too much left to listen to, but let's see where things are taking us. I 
remember this from the original film. Probably was in there somewhere. But you know what? I love this little intervention. This just little moment between... What are their names? Scuttle? Scuttle. Duh. Scuttle and um, Sebastian. M my ability to remember things is apparently out the door. But we're about to end it with Part of Your World reprise number two. Because... They needed Hallie in every act of this play to be singing something. Not play, but the movie. Woo! Well, that line, that line hurt. That line hit. Realizing the consequences of your actions is never fun. But with that being the last song on the uh, the soundtrack that has lyrics to listen to, let's hop into my final ranking. Alright, so it's been a few days, so I've probably come up with what I presume will be my official ranking before seeing the film. So, here it is. Where I think things are going to rank, well, I need to go back and listen. But I think Part of Your World and Under the Sea have to be up there because they just are those those songs i need to listen to these new tracks to fill out how you know where i think they'll fall just because they're new they don't have the nostalgia that you know the original soundtrack is gonna have so they need to climb but yeah let me know what you thought of the movie if you see it before i see it which i mean i guess you'll be seeing it before i see it because i'm filming this before i see the film so there's me rambling, but let me know what you thought of the film, what's your favorite song on the soundtrack, and what would you like me to react to next?